Okay, for bab dua pembezaan, okay, dapatkan if you want this uh, paper, you click dekat description box. Okay, dekat description box, teacher ada beri link for you to join the telegram group. Lepas tu, daripada situ boleh terus download and you can use the paper for your revision. Okay, let's start with Kelantan paper. Okay, dekat sini diberi dua fungsi. Y is equals to F U and U sama dengan G. U, uh, U sama dengan G X. Okay, dengan menggunakan idea hard limit. Okay, buktikan yang kita dapat formula yang ni. Okay, so what we can do is Um, okay, kat sini kita boleh start dy dx y'all should know by now yang dy dx ni kita boleh tulis macam ni kan Limit ni ada dalam textbook eh Delta x approaching zero Delta y delta x Kita boleh guna sebab ini kan kita nak guna idea hard So limit tu kita tukar kat sini hard Okay hard Okay lepas tu yang dy dx macam mana kita boleh bentukkan Okay you can use Hard Okay delta x menghampiri kosong Okay delta y tulis dekat atas Delta x tulis dekat bawah sebab kita guna chain rule Ingat lagi chain rule petua rantai Kan petua rantai Maksudnya apa yang kita nak dekat dy ni tertulis kat sebelah sini Yang kita nak dx ni tertulis kat bawah So bahagian sini dia akan sama Sebab itulah we call that as rantai Chain So um, here teacher going to write delta u Delta u Okay so next step kita kembangkan ah this one Part delta x menghampiri kosong Delta y delta u Kemudian darab hat delta x menghampiri kosong delta u delta x. Okay, so it's like you you expand it. Okay, kembangkan and expand. Okay, so sekarang hmm, this one if you realize, okay, macam mana teacher nak tulis jawapan akhir dia? Okay, if we can write, you see ya, uh, like this, you see this way. Okay, hat Delta Y Delta X Kita boleh tulis sebagai DY DX Correct You can write it as DY DX So kalau hat Delta Y Delta U Boleh kan Kita just tulis as DY DU ah, Because this thing Dia boleh tulis macam ni Ataupun dia boleh tulis terbalik Betul tak? So hat uh, Delta U Delta X I can just write as DU DX Ah, uh, So therefore, we have proven lah Dah buktikan really Sudah dibuktikan Ah, uh, You got this? Alright Okay, for B pula Diberi Y sama dengan 5T kuasa 2 tambah 2T X si 1 tolak 2T. Cari dy dx dalam sebutan X. Okay, if you see the given one here, uh, everything kita ada dalam sebutan T sahaja. Isn't it? So, if you, if you want dy dx, okay, sebenarnya boleh straight cari daripada sini. Okay, to find from here, which is, okay, What we do, kita ganti T ni Okay, we ganti the T Dalam sebutan X Ah, uh, Barulah kalau kita uh, What is that? If we like uh, find dy dx uh, Kalau macam ni, kita akan dapat dy dt Okay, we'll get dy dt We will get uh, dx dt And if can, we don't want dalam sebutan T anymore, isn't it? Okay So what we can do, actually got dua cara lah. Okay, maybe we can do like this. Okay, teacher tunjuk cara pertama first ah. Okay, maybe cara pertama, I think we can do this ah. We we find, okay, ungkapkan T from here ah, daripada X ini. Okay, so 2T sama dengan 1 tolak X, T sama dengan 1 tolak X per 2. Okay, after that, 
I'm going to ganti T ke dalam into the Y. So now, my Y will look like this. 5, 1 minus X over 2, square, tambah, 2 T, T, 1 minus X over 2. So this one, just be careful. Okay, when you do, sebab ni kena kembang dulu. So, 1 tolak 2X tambah X square per 4. Yeah, the 2, no more already. Yeah? Tambah 1 tolak X. Okay, so here I will get, ni teacher kembangkan eh. 5 minus 10 plus 5 over 4 plus 1 minus X. Okay. Okay, now we try to settle this first. Teacher tak nak dekat bawah ni. Um, oh, we try to separate it lah. Okay, tertulis separately. 5 per 4. Uh, 10 per 4, I think, kedap. kita simplify. 10 per 4. We get 5 over 2. 5 per 2, X. Okay, then 5 per 4, X square. So, tambah 1, tolak X. Okay, yang mana boleh simplify, kita simplify dulu. Okay, 5 per 4, X square. Hmm, negative 5 per 2, minus 1. Negatif 7 per 2. Okay, 5 over 4 tambah 1. So, 9 over 4. Okay, daripada sini, you can, you got already your Y, right? Dalam sebutan X. Uh, now, you can do the dy dx. So, here 5 over 4 times 2, dapatlah 5 over 2. X tolak 7 per 2, 9 per 4, no more already. Okay, this is uh, one method. Okay, another method, okay, let's say lah, in exam maybe you might feel this one is easier. Cara kedua. Okay, so yang Y tu, kita differentiate dulu. Sebab kita boleh guna petua rantai also, correct or not? Right, you can use the chain rule also. Okay, so here, teacher cari dulu. Okay, dy, uh, dy what? dy dt, uh, 10t. Tambah 2, okay, dx dt. I get negative 2. Okay, so kita nak cari dy dx. Maksudnya, dy you write at the top, dx you write at the bottom. So here will be dt. Okay, dy dt, 10t tambah 2. Dar <coughs> Excuse me. Darab dx dt. Tapi ni d uh, dt dx terbalik. So, you put negative 1 over 2. Okay, bila kembangkan, dapatlah negative 5t uh, tolak 1. Okay, tapi kita tak nak jawapan dalam sebutan t. Correct or not? You want in sebutan uh, x. Maka, ungkapkan dulu. Don't leave your answer like this. Huh? Ungkapkan t tu apa. T just now tadi kita dapatkan 1 minus x over 2. Okay. So, masukkan de dekat sini. 1 minus x over 2 tolak 1. So, here kita kembangkan negative 5 tambah x per 2. Okay, you can write separately. Negative 5 over 2 tambah x over 2 tolak 1. Okay, let's see. Hmm, negative 5 over 2 tolak 1. Negative 7 per 2. Eh, sorry. Ni kembang. You get 5, isn't it? 5x. Okay, tambah 5 per 2x. Okay, do you still get the same answer? Yes. Okay, kat sini. This one. Oh, this one. So, you can use both ways lah. Okay, make sure you know both just that in case. Alright. Uh, sometimes maybe kena, kena guna cara pertama. Sometimes maybe guna cara kedua. But that one totally depends on the question. Alright. Okay. So next one, soalan daripada Melaka. Okay, Rajah menunjukkan sebahagian daripada lengkung. Okay, lengkung kita ni kuasa tiga. That's why it looks like that. Ah. Cari coordinate for two stationary points. Ah. Macam mana nak cari stationary points? Titik pegun. So dia kena always ambil dy dx kita. Okay, and kita kena jadikan dia zero. Kan? You must take because stationary points maksudnya gradient kat sini kan. 
kecerunan dekat sini dia kosong. Kalau line dia macam ni barulah ada gradient, ada kecerunan. Okey tapi dia mendata. So the gradient will be zero bolehlah kita dapat our coordinates. Okey so for A Okay, kita cari dy dx dulu. Yang ni teacher kembangkan eh. I bring it in ah. So negative x kuasa 4 tambah 3x kuasa 3 plus 4. Okay from here we find dy dx negative 4x cube plus 9x square. Okay ambil jawapan ni. Take this answer. We equal it to 0. Okay, yang mana boleh uh, Faktorkan, kita faktorkan. Maksudnya X kuasa kecil tu bawa keluar. So tinggal negative 4X plus 9. Okay, so we will have two answers. X square sama dengan kosong. Negative 4X plus 9 sama dengan kosong. Okay, kalau kuasa 2 pindah then nothing right. Still 0. Okay, here. Negative 9. So X you get 9 over 4. Okay, kalau ada dua X, mesti ada dua Y. Okay, so therefore we substitute uh, the X zero first lah, ke dalam Y ni. So negative kosong, kosong tolak tiga, tambah empat. So Y dapatlah four. Okay, the other one, you ganti the uh, ganti Y pula. Ganti X. X you ganti as nine over four. So negative 9 over 4, negatif dekat luar. Okay, 9 over 4 tolak 3 plus 4. Okay, let's see. Negative 9 over 4. Okay, quite big number juga dekat sini. Okay, teacher dapat 3, 2, 1, 1 over 2, 5, 6. Okay. Alright. So your titik pegun. Okay. Titik pegun. So you see the P. P dekat uh, pintasan Y dekat sini kan. So that means of course your X will be 0 lah. 0 and 4. So your Q should be uh, 4 and 3, 2, 1, 1 over 2, 5, 6. Okay. Next one. Dua markah. Okay. B. Seterusnya. Tentukan sifat nature dengan menggunakan kaedah lakaran tangent. So this one you have to do in a table lah. Okay. Macam ni. Okay ni teacher tulis kat sini dulu. Zero, four. Okay. Kita nak untuk P saja kan? Okay. So we just need P ni. Okay ni teacher padam eh. Uh, this one please remember how to do the table. You have to just remember like a few things lah yang kena isi ke dalam. Jadual. Okay, jadual ni actually this this uh, method tak pernah keluar lagi. So maybe who knows this year SPM it might come out sebab kaedah ni selalunya yang kita buat adalah kaedah di square. Kita akan cari pembezaan peringkat kedua. So you will know your nature, sifat. Right, but here they ask you to use this because you all learn this method also. Okay, first kita buat uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 uh, rows, okay, 5 baris, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 1 more. Okay, 1 more teacher buat dekat sini, alright. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, lepas tu, yang paling bawah tu kan? Okay, this one right, let's make it a bit. Uh, longer lah, kejap. Sebab kat bawah ni I need some more space. Okay. So what I'm going to do Okay, teacher letak dia longer sikit. Eh, ni kan ada tadi one more line kan? Okay. Uh. Alright. Okay, now here we need four columns. Uh, yang last, uh, the first one you can do until the end. Ni yang first one. Okay, for the second one Third one, you just do until here enough. Okay? Alright. So, you fill up here is X. So, this is the one teacher say you all must remember. Okay, X. Yang ni dy dx. Okay, this is the sign. In English, you write this as sign. Huh? 
sine 4 dy dx. Okay, and this is your sketch of tangent dalam English, dalam bahasa Inggeris. Dalam bahasa Melayu, lakaran tangent. Okay, that's, this is the one you need, ah, lakaran tangent. And finally, the sketch of graph, lakaran graph. Okay, X, yang mana kita nak buat sekarang? Kita nak buat for the P, isn't it? So, kita letak zero dekat tengah. Okay, one number smaller than zero, kita letak dekat sebelah kiri. So, negative one. One number bigger than zero, kita letak dekat sebelah kanan. Okay, lepas tu, masalah mak tadi, dy dx, teacher dah padam eh. Sekejap eh, let me find back my dy dx. Uh, Tiff tadi berapa eh? Dua dia. Okay, negative 4x cube tambah 9x square. Okay, this is the dy dx kan? Okay, sekarang masukkan negative 1. Okay, you ganti inside the x here. Okay, I'm getting 13. Okay, so dekat sini tu tulislah 13. Okay, kalau kosong, uh, you will get kosong lah. Zero. Okay, sekarang ganti satu pula. Okay, ganti satu. I'm getting here five. Okay, tanda dia. Okay, kalau positif, this one this positive value kan? Uh, just put positive here. Kalau kosong, tak ada apa-apa simbol. Okay, kalau lima, positif. Okay, if positif means your tangent akan menaik. Okay, kalau negatif means tangent menurun. Like this ah, Okay. Zero means mendata. Horizontal. Positive, menaik. So you actually your graph will be like this. Dia naik, lepas tu dia data, then go up there. So what kind of point is this? Ini adalah sifat apa? This is called sifat P. P eh? Point P. Zero for. Ialah lengkuk balas. Ah, uh, right, lengkuk balas sebab dia naik Lepas so dia balas naik balik Dia tak turun Okay, this is called as sifat lengkuk balas Okay Number six done Okay, number seven Okay, kita tengok soalan negeri sembilan Okay, Raja menunjukkan sebuah bekas Berbentuk silinder tertutup Okay Diberi jejari bekas RCM dan tinggi adalah H. Alright. Okay. Then what they say? Volume. Oh, okay. Isi padu diberi. Okay. Isi padu adalah 175. Okay. And then uh, H adalah 7. Apabila bekas tersebut direndam dalam air sejuk. Okay. Tinggi air mengalami peningkatan. Peningkatan kecil sebanyak PCM. Alright, so when they put the bekas inside air sejuk, the tinggi naik sikit. Okay, so cari perubahan kecil. Small changes. Bagi jejari. Okay, jejari dekat sini. Okay, teacher akan guna uh, R sebagai jejari eh. Okay, because they already write there, R. Then teacher akan guna H untuk tinggi. Even though it's in bahasa, okay, never mind. Okay, if you want to find small changes, okay, perubahan kecil, kena guna delta. And since kita nak untuk jejari, so delta R. Okay, faham tak? Delta R. So, selalu ingat formula ni. Ni yang original. Delta Y adalah dy dx darab delta X. Ah, uh, This is the original. So now here this is delta R kan? So dekat atas sini dr, dekat bawah sini ah uh, apa lagi yang berubah? What is changing? H is changing right? So we will put dh. Okay dh lepas tu kat sini delta H. Ah, uh, You follow ah? Uh, you see? Sini y, sini y. Bawah sini x, sini x. So here R, here R. Here H, here H like that. Okay, now it's time for us to find the values. Okay, dekat sini uh, DR, DH tak tahu lagi. So, kita kena cari. Okay, delta H dah tahu dah. 
perubahan H ya tinggi air mengalami peningkatan peningkatan ni positif ah so it's p positive p okay and then uh, now it's time for us to find delta r uh, sorry dr dh okay dari mana teacher nak cari okay this is where you can find the information daripada sini dulu okay isi padu volume kan uh, okay ah uh, teacher guna ni eh v untuk isi padu ah uh, you can write down first all these ah huh? okay so sekarang Volume adalah 1755. Kan? 1755. Okay. Hmm. For this, daripada sini, kalau kalau we see here. Ha? Okay. Originally, volume pi r square h. Betul tak? Okay. Inilah originally V sama dengan pi r square h. Okay. Daripada sini, kalau kita nak Cari R dan H Maksudnya You must only have the letter R and the letter H Ini sahaja yang kita perlu ada So V tu tak boleh ada So the V you ganti in Dalam sini So 175 pi ganti dekat situ So you get like this isn't it? Okay. So pi dengan pi kita boleh simplify eh Pemudahkan Sebab bawa ke sana dia jadi bahagi So now You have it like this. Okay, tapi teacher nak uh, bezakan R, betul tak? So, the H bawa pindah dulu. So, 175 over H. Lepas tu, kuasa 2 pindah. So, it will become punca kuasa. But usually, punca kuasa, better kita tulis macam ni. 175 per H, kuasa 1 per 2. Uh, we can write like this also lah. Okay, sekarang barulah we start to differentiate. Kita bezakan. So, teacher nak cari dr, dh. Okay. So, this one we use the petua. Okay, this one bawa ke depan. Satu per dua. One, seven, five. Eh, kejap. This one h bawa naik dulu. Tak boleh bawa depan dulu eh. We bring the h go up first ah. Uh, kejap. This one. So, will look like this now. 175 kuasa 1 per 2. Okay, R will look like this. 175 H negative 1. Okay, bawa dulu ke atas. Uh, then only power 1 over 2. Okay, baru kita start differentiate. Okay, DR, DH. Okay, this one bring in front. So, 1 per 2. Okay, 175 H negative 1. Kuasa dia kena tolak kan? Because kita beza miss, must tolak. Okay, then uh, what is this? Differentiate dalam bracket. So, this one should get negative 175 H uh, negative 2. Okay, so now what we get? Let's see. Ya. Hmm, yang depan, kita darabkan dengan yang belakang. Okay, so 1 over 2 times negative 175. Okay, negative 175 over 2. H teacher buat turun ke bawah. Okay, then this one. 175 over H kuasa uh, negative 1 per 2. Okay, because the thing minus ready. Okay, now what we do. This is already dah dibezakan. Okay, H ni kena cari nilai dia. So, H tu teacher ganti. I ganti the H. H got, isn't it? Over here. 7 cm. Okay, so we ganti ke dalam sini. So, negative 175 over 2 times 7 square. 175 per 7 kuasa negative 1 per 2. Okay, if you can, you masuk one by one. Don't rush. So, 5. Berat tujuh kuasa dua. Okay, this front one. Teacher getting negative 25 per 14. Okay, this one. I'm getting 1 over 5. So, jawapan. I'm getting negative 5 over 40. So, maksudnya. 
apabila ada peningkatan dekat tinggi dia kan, the tinggi kan meningkat. So what is happening to the radius? Radius dia actually mengecil. That's why we got a negative there. So inilah dr dh kita. Ah, okay, we are getting dr dh. So dr dh kita tulis kat sini negative 5 over 40. So my delta r adalah negative 5 over 40 darab delta h p. So dapatlah jawapan negative 5 over 40 p. Inilah perubahan kecil yang berlaku kepada radius jari. Okay, you can leave it like this or you can leave it in point form. Okay, for B, cari peratus perubahan kecil. Now, if the first one, right, teacher suggest you you pause, you watch back. You pause, watch back. Sebab soalan macam ni, kalau keluar, you must at least get minimum tiga markah. Tak naklah kita lose semua markah dekat sini. Okay? Alright. Cari peratus perubahan kecil bagi jejari. Seterusnya, perihalkan. Oh, we have to describe. Okay, peratus perubahan. Okay, so what you do? You take the perubahan. Divide by the original. Okay, darab 100. Okay, berapa perubahan? Perubahan was just now our answer lah. Tadi kan jawapan yang A tu. Ni lah perubahan. Okay, perubahan jejari. Original jejari berapa? So how to find the original jejari? Okay, cari dulu jejari original. Meaning, okay, ambil daripada sini pun boleh. V sama dengan pi r square h. Okay, volume 175. Uh, pi r tak tahu kan? Uh, h kita tinggi kita original 7. Okay, so 7 bring to the other side. So 175 over 7. So, bila pindah, okay, 175 over 7, square root kan? Yeah? Ah, so, dapatlah. Macam ni ya, eh? punca kuasa. Ah, so, R we get 5. Ah, maksudnya yang original radius dia adalah 5. So, now masukkan dalam sini. So, the perubahan negative 5 over 14 P bahagi 5 darab with 100. Ha, tengoklah mana boleh settle, kita settle dia 25. So negative 5 over 14 times 25. So teacher getting negative 5 over 14. Eh 25 ke? Sorry, sorry. Apa pula 25? 20. Uh, 20. Okay, 20. Okay, 20 that means negative 5 over 14 times 20. Teacher dapat negative 7. Point one four percent atau one four three percent. Maksudnya, when you explain, kena have to say negative kan? So dia berkurang. Maksudnya, jejari berkurang. Ah, explain ah, radius berkurang sebanyak seven point one four percent. Ah, dan lah lebih sembilan, okay? Alright, so next one teacher continue with part 2.